It is the biggest lottery jackpot in, this is a correction, U.S. history. That's 640 million big ones. But as Serena Sides' Gary Harper tells us, some questions are being raised about how legitimate the lottery really is, Gary. Yeah, I think when you see this report, what we uncovered, very, very surprising. The Mega Millions lottery is now more than a half billion dollars. Huge number. So in last week's drawing, some employees of a valley company pooled their money together and they bought some lottery tickets like a lot of people do. But I want you to see the numbers that were spit out. These two lottery tickets bought in the Valley are raising eyebrows. They were purchased by employees at Hughes Performance, a Phoenix company that specializes in rebuilding transmissions. Jan Blycroft owns the company and collected money from employees for the big Mega Millions drawing, which just about everyone hopes to win. I'm going to go on a vacation, I'm going to buy a new house, I'll buy a boat, whatever. So everybody was having fun on Friday fantasizing. Jan collected $145 and came to this QT where she purchased $100. 145 tickets using Quick Pick, a computer that's supposed to randomly select your numbers for you. But after bringing the tickets back to her shop and making copies for everyone, one of her employees noticed something peculiar about two of the tickets. And one of the guys, actually, I did notice that one of the guys in the back said, you know, you got two tickets here that are exactly the same. Take a look at those tickets again. She's right. You can clearly see that the numbers on the left ticket are the exact same as the numbers on the right. Row after row, the numbers are identical on both tickets. At first, Jan thought the quick pick machine accidentally just spit out a duplicate ticket. But take a closer look at the digits down here. These are the validation numbers that allows the lottery to differentiate each ticket and to tell them apart. As you can see, the validation numbers are not the same, meaning the tickets are not copies. It made us pause and say, how can this be? Jan says the chance of getting 10 identical sets of numbers is more astronomical than winning the lottery itself. Either that or something is wrong, she said. So she contacted three on your side. Is this totally random? It has a lot of us talking about that. How random is the lottery? How legitimate is the lottery? How uncorrupted is lottery. Three on your side took this bizarre situation to state lottery officials, which immediately removed the quick pick terminal from the store where the tickets were spit out. That machine is currently being inspected. In the meantime, the lottery's executive director tells us in an email, while statistically possible, it is not probable that two tickets with the same numbers would be issued. He went on to say that the lottery is investigating the matter. Still, Jan says the strange ordeal has caused her and her employees to question the lottery's legitimacy. This is such a huge thing. I, I can't imagine that there's a teeny little glitch that only two identical tickets were ever produced like this number. Well, we'll find out. The lottery believes this was an isolated incident, but the machine is being analyzed to determine how the numbers printed twice, whether anything like this has happened before, and if it could possibly happen again. Now, the final results of their investigation should be made available in the next couple of days. I guarantee you're going to see it right here in a follow-up report on Three on Your Side, hopefully early next week. Gary Harper, Three on your side.